Hey folks, Jessica here today. So today we're gonna be killing Azur, Six Dragon Advent Azur, the water one. They added, I think, a little bit over a week ago. I poked it a couple of times. I think this is gonna be a fairly similar fight to the other Six Dragon Advents. Um, basically, like it will have a couple omens that require a ton of hits. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see. I like. I think some unique things about it, just glancing at skills is I believe it has a poison it puts on you at 40%. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad because I would assume you can just clear it, but we'll see. Uh, as far as the team, uh, it's uh, some Holly Narmaya, regular Alexiel, Mahira. Mahira instead of Kane front row because Mahira's echo to the team is on a skill as opposed to on charge attack like Kane, because Kane gives the echo if you if you charge attack someone's secret plot. So it's a little easier to control when you have Mahira's up, so I'm gonna keep her front row. I'm really debating whether or not I want to squat um someone in the front row for Vera, because Vera has a delay, which is very handy. It comes off cooldown very often and a heal. But hopefully we don't need it. Uh yeah, I'm just Grid, uh, switch out a few things, uh, Stratomizer instead of, uh, Stratomizer and Alexio Shard instead of two Andali, great two Andalias, uh, Magna Sword instead of Hollow Sky Spear, and Metal instead of, um, Ultima Blade, because they have less alignment with, um, Katana users since it's only two. And then also I kind of want some Emnity because I'm going to take a lot of damage probably. Uh, main handing the Xeno Harp for a little bit of a heal. That's about it. Um, the analysis can, don't need to be here because I don't think I'm going to cap on this guy reliably anyway since I'm going to get beat up real fast. Double Quillen because that works really well for all these hit space bosses. Uh, Uriel for, you know, because he's Uriel. Athena because she's Athena for more damage cuts. And yeah, let's just jump right in. Oh yeah, and skills. Um, Miss, Sunlight, Gravity Wave. Oh, by the way, this skin I'm using. This is... The Grand Blue Fantasy versus skin for Jita, which I thought looked exactly like uh, the the anime skin, which it does. But this one has assignable skills, so you can assign different animations to different skills, just like the Holiday, Nar just like the Narmaya DLC skin, which is really dope. I hope they do this with more skins. I suspect they're only gonna do it with the super premium skins. Okay, let's just dive right in. So, thing that kind of caught me off guard the last time I tried this was just there's a couple points where like you're like I can take that charge attack I can face tank it it's not a big deal and then it 30 k's your entire team and it's like oh my god also notice a thing with this Jita skin well okay you can't really notice until she does something yeah she's way more she, just like the Narmaya skin she's way more animated like look at her she's just booping and bopping she's like she's just vibing there I, I, I love her um, she looks like she is ready to throw down, stay in limber to fight. Okay, let's get all her stuff up. Saving a lot of skills, because that's a wise thing to do. Like, Narmaya's sub, obviously, uh, which I want to use with her echo anyways. Saving Alexi- uh, I- mm, do I want to build Mirror Blade stacks? Yes! I'll wait to build Mirror Blade stacks because I don't want to use uh, her 3 since it throws a lot of hits out. Same thing with Mahira's 3 which gives Echo so we're just going to not use any of that right now and uh, get going. Her attack animations also reflect the... Jita's attack animations also reflect the, the Grand Blue Fantasy versus attack animations too. The whole package is super cool. I gotta say. I'm gonna give her 100% echo right now. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, we'll just do that. Or six turns of echo, rather. Uh, I don't really need to save my Titans, but I might as well, I guess. I guess Titan give what? gives what? Armor? I don't remember what Titan's secondary effect besides the guts is. So first charge attack here. I got a couple options. I don't want any of these to land. Like, let's be real here. I don't give me so far armor, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and assassin on t assassin here, so I can sub it onto Narmaya, who will likely not take much of any damage from this. Uh, and then we'll just continue forward. I'll save the heal until after his turn in case Narmaya gets dinged up a little. 
That sounds right. What am I fucking die? Oh, she's got a new charge attack too. Check that out. <laughs> it's such a cool charge attack compared to Jada's normal charge attack on Warrior. Narmaya throwing up big damage. That'll put him on his omen also, so. Taking care of a lot of things here. Nice guard. So everyone is on um, full uh, drum beats from Mahira, so I'm going ahead and convert that into a blue pot, which will come and be helpful later. Also, I get dodge uh, from this, so uh, like on the shoulder giants, her three is her four is pretty good actually. Get everybody echo so we can clear this thing. I don't think we need the echo to clear this thing, but I'm gonna make sure we clear it. It's what. Uh, it was 25, that was 6, so now it's down to 19. Bunch more from this. Turn off that. I need to do, what, 11? I actually should be fine right now to do it. Um, I'm gonna heal a little, I guess. Yeah, this should be fine. Armaya on her own can probably deal 11. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Nice try, idiot. So let's see, next one's at 75, and we don't have a lot of things to deal with it. Eight turns. I don't know if I can stall for eight turns, so I might have to like block it with uh, Alexio or something. We'll see. Uh, I don't have a good counter for this either. Like this vessel fell is gonna hurt, so I think I'm gonna full cut it. Cause I think do I want to do I want a partial cut or do I want a full cut? I want to full cut it. This could get real ugly if I don't full cut it. I've been hurt before. Actually, this is multi-hit, isn't it? Oh no, it's one hit. Uh, okay, yeah, so full cutting is fine. If it was multi-hit, it'd be awkward, because um, the unchallenged wouldn't be enough. I need you to stop casting that freaking uplift on yourself, you absolute pile of butts. Um, we're gonna keep on striding ahead. Okay, it's right up against its uh, threshold for um, a charge attack. Actually, can I switch it, I wonder, into... Can I, yeah, into 75? Omen? No Omen, okay. So I do need to deal with this somehow. I don't have a good solution other than a regular cut. A little awkward, not gonna lie, it's a little awkward. What's coming off cooldown? Nothing useful. To be honest, uh, 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 I guess we just do a small cut on it. Air quote small cut on it, seventy percent cut, and hope that's enough. <laughs> and then we fucking guts <laughs> the <to> open, <laughs> and then pot ourselves back up. Yeah, that's a terrible idea, but that's that might be what we have to do here. I'm super nervous about how hard this is going to hit me. Have a sip of my gin and tonic. And by the way, if I keep on glancing my left, it's because I'm working from home. Okay, that wasn't bad. Have this crazy, like, four monitor setup, and uh, I kicked off a build. So I'm waiting for it to build, so we're going to kill a dragon while I wait for my thing to build. Uh, and I'm just making sure I didn't trash <laughs> anything. Ah, oh, shit me. Um, okay. This is not gonna be pleasant. Uh, Vortex Core. 31 hits, removes all buffs, and... What is held under? Lowered HP every turn. This is what we call not ideal. Um... It's gonna hit everybody. I don't really have much I can do here, uh, to be honest. So let's just, uh, block on everybody here. I probably should have blocked on right here also. And we're also Titan? Like, we're here is on like 1 HP, which is unlikely because we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That! That thing you did right there. Really annoying though. Ah, uh, sweet mother of god. Stuff still doesn't cool down, so I'm gonna just eat this vessel fall. Um. 
Um, I, I need everyone to defense this too. We're just gonna block for dear life. Full block on everybody. I'm also gonna pot them so they're a little higher. Oh god, you're held under. Because <laughs> a dick. Okay, you know, and not bad, not bad. This is the block strat. I guess we're just gonna block every fucking turn. Uh, okay, let's start getting stuff up. That held under is a little bit annoying. Not going to lie. Uh, next trigger is what? 55? Yeah, 55. Um, she's really hurt. Like, I might want to actually start rolling. She can't. Oh, man. How long has held under last? Oh, it's gone, isn't it? Well, if she's not gonna be hurt if I do this. Okay, never mind. We're just four John ahead. The real question is do I want a Athena to save like just attack damage? I don't think I do though. I, I might have to actually. Okay, I can give everybody Echo. Lower that. I can try, like, I can't really take any chances is the thing. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> just guard again. MC should, should be fine. Yeah, that wasn't even that bad. I could have just taken that. Can you not back to back guard? Oh, no. <laughs> Can't attack. Uh, mm, that's awkward as hell. Okay, we're gonna get beat up a couple turns, I guess. Guys, this is not going well. Okay, have a cut now. Everyone still can't attack. So maybe we just go another turn. Hope he doesn't fucking annihilate somebody. It's fine. Don't want to use the cut is the thing. I should probably use the cut actually. All right, that's fine. Okay, okay. So now, in theory, I have a hundred percent cut because I'm gonna use Athena. Athena's on cooldown. I'm a dumbass. Um, mm, huh. I have a significant cut. Guys, why is this fight actually kind of annoying? The instant drain wasn't too bad, so let's just do the thirty percent cut on it. And then, yeah. Get Mahira up. Er. Eh. I'm gonna Titan here. Because Innocence Drain is what? Four hits? So hopefully that causes. I. Hmm. We're gonna do a little guarding. Guys, it'll be better, I promise. Just give me a turn to get all my shit up. <laughs> I just need the Quilla turn, man. Okay, yeah, that was not that much damage. Oh my god, you fucking pile of shit. I hate you. Oh, you fucking did it again. You fucking... Made it so everyone keeps those paired basically. It's fine though, because I'm gonna cheat, I guess. This is not the ideal timing for this, to be honest. But I need to. Mm. Can't. I don't think I can get away with just repeatedly not doing anything. Because at some point, like, he's just gonna out attrition to me if I do that. So now that we got Quillen rolling, let's get all our shit up. That should clear. Yeah, that cleared everybody. So now, like, that we've Quillen. This should be fine. Uh... Thinking. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine.
I need everyone to build a full... Can I build drum beats again? Does it care about everyone's drum beats or just her drum beats? I don't know. The drum beat system's weird. Yikes! That's a lot of damage there. Okay, here's what I wanted to break. Um, get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. And then this should basically like snap it, uh, snap it right out of that phase. Everyone's so low though. Like, I think Alexia's a little bit more important here than Mahira. Could be wrong on that. And we'll go ahead and Mike or Ariel just cause. And go. Cool, man. She fucking the combo from Narmaya there. Okay, so now you're gonna try and do that nonsense to me. Do I have full diamonds on everybody? Does this work? No, I need. Jita doesn't have quite have full uh, drum beats. So next turn, I'll full drum beats. I'm gonna full cut this, just leave nothing to chance. This is what, one hit, right? One big hit. And I'm also gonna not charge check on Alexio because I want to dispel it the next turn. So it's gonna poison everybody, I think, the next turn also. That bird eats ass. You po okay, now you poison everybody. So I can like quill and heat. Okay, first off, we convert into potion. And then I potion everybody. And then we cut here. And then we fucking quillin? I guess we quillin. I mean, this thing shouldn't hit too hard. It is four hits, though. So no reason not to quill in here, I guess. And this will let me get everything back up, too, I guess. Now, I could, in theory, clear the poison, but I'm gonna actually sub into Narmaya's burst here. To make it go just on her in case something goes very wrong, that might not be right, but that's what we're doing. I think this debuffs everybody. No, that's the 40% trigger that debuffs everybody. I don't know, man. Come to me for the answers. I don't have one right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and charge attack everybody. And uh, yeah, just go. Like, there's a 70% cut. How much could this do through a 70% cut, I wonder? I do want to just get it low, because we're in the period where there's only one more trigger phrase and phase, and that's at 15%, so there's no reason not to just fucking Narmaya this guy into the, into the ground. I reduce his defense. I want to reduce his attack, to be honest. Nice. Useless. Get countered. Get chickened. Oh, you want to use that, do you? I think at this point, I do I hundred percent cut it. Vortex kernel. I, I can I can break out of vortex kernel actually. So let's just regular, let's full cut this fucking thing because vortex kernel is the fifteen, the, the trigger of fifteen basically. And we'll save the that. And I, like let's just refresh all our shit. I guess. Yeah, let's not. Um, yeah, okay, we'll just go. Yeah, I mean, we got full cut, it's fine. Actually, Innocence Tracker, how many hits is that? That's a question I should've asked. Ah, it's many hits. It's many hits. Joke's on us. Okay, that's not great, to be honest. Not happy with that outcome, but you know, it's fine. We played ourselves. I've never mad Severa, so like, 
Normai is so hurt though. Like, do I guts her? Yeah, well, let's get Vera buffed up. So, does this thing work if... Okay, all allies need to be max rum beats. That's not great. Um, might lose Narmaya, actually. We'll see. See, the tricky bit is there is that... I do need to do 22 hits now. And, like, I can't... I think I can still do it. But I, I have less... I have less wig Oh god you hit that you fucking smack Vera real hard. I have less wiggle room is the only issue. I have less wiggle room because um fucking uh what's her face? Uh Alexio's dead. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna have to rely on Echoes to get there. You know, cast this in case you can dodge it, but I don't think you can dodge it. Uh, 13? I can deal 13. I can deal 13. I can deal 13. Let's just use this while we're at it. I can deal 13. I, I can fucking deal 13. Yeah, yeah, fuck 13 easy. Easy game. You're a dick. Too bad I have, I have guts on. Can't kill Vera, bitch ass. Oh, Forceful Bite. What even is this? What the hell is Forceful Bite? Multi-hit, Death Down, Petrify. This probably hits for all my life, to be honest. Um, let me see if I can save someone with the Guts effect. And then we're just gonna go for it, man. We're just gonna fucking go for it. Because, like, it's at 6%. What? This is the 1% wipe. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. The 1% wipe. Here it comes. 4%. Can we just kill this guy? Can we just kill this guy? Get him, Vera. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. We got there. There we go. You know, not exactly a clean kill, but still a kill. And that's what counts. Nothing really matters if your opponent's face down in a puddle of blood. I had a martial art. Like, I had a karate. Like, one of my senseis taught me. That said that to me. He said something to the effect of, like, uh, you don't stop until your opponent's face down in a puddle of blood. <laughs> it's like the literal thing he told the class. It was great. Abyssal Tragedy. What is this thing? It's to uncap something. But there you go. Azur done. Not a clean kill by any stretch. I think my team lineup is fine for it. Um, I think Metal, definitely the garrison, definitely helped a lot. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I, like, there are a few turns where it's hitting hard enough that, yeah, actually having the Andalus in might have been legit. I could have probably dropped the Alexio Shard and the Keen, and uh, not Keen, the Magna Sword, but, yeah, a fun fight. It's not that bad. All these fights are, I, I feel like, okay, the water, I, I want to say the Fire one is easier than the rest, but I think that's because I have all my plus marks in water, and I've been in, like, water mode lately because of the United fight. But, um, uh, the, the the wind one and the water one seem about the same level of difficulty. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Expect a Proving Grounds one-turn challenge, wind element edition, you say. Um, expect a uh, video for... I might stream... Pr so, pr I still got to do Proving Grounds, uh, Proud and Proud Plus. I might stream for it. I'm not sure. It's going to be a stream or a video. There'll be some coverage of it. We'll see what. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. I hope that was fun for everybody. It was fun for me. And as usual, stay safe out there. Bye.